The Phasing Tipton November Sale is a blockbuster event highlighted by some of the sport's greatest stars, and this year is no exception as three champions are set to go through the ring November 6th in Lexington. Today we're out at TaylorMade Farm to spend some time with the brilliant Songbird and learn a little more about what it takes to prepare a race mare for public auction. So an incredible treat to be here at TaylorMade with Songbird, and Mark, tell us how she's settled in. She looks wonderful. Uh, she's done fantastic. Um, she came into us and for a, for a mare that had been running, um, you know, the better part of three years, her condition was incredible and you can just see the quality. She was dappled out her flesh was perfect. You know, for a horse that had run that many times at that high of level, it was just amazing, uh, you know, how she looked in the class she exuded when she came in. I mean, she's just a fantastic, she's just got intelligence. I mean, you can see she's just so smart. She figures everything out. Um, you know, you don't, she doesn't stress about anything. She knows what's going on everywhere, it seems like. When these fillies come off the track, I mean, one thing about it is they've been cared for really, really well uh, while they're on the track. I mean, they've had the same groom with them. They've been in the same training regime, you know, the same people around them, and they really form bonds with those, those people. So a, a big part of what we do is just try to make them fit in and feel comfortable and, and get them into a routine. Now, we also had the opportunity to go see Teppin at Stone Farm, and with both of those mares, they've had time at the farm before they go into the ring. But with a lot of these race mares, you're going to see them wheel back two days after Breeders' Cup and be in the sale. So talk about your experience dealing with a mare from that perspective versus having the time to actually let them get a break before they go into the sale. Well, yeah, that's a whole different uh, set of circumstances. With Songbird, we wanted to just maintain her condition, right? And, and a lot of times horses will kind of go through a dip when they come off the track. These horses will have just competed at a very high level and they're gonna be in peak physical condition. They may have lightened up a little bit uh, with the trip back and then just running a hard race. So a lot of times it's just doing little things like maybe running some fluids in them to make sure they're hydrated and keeping them comfortable and then watching their legs quiet because when horses come out of races they can have some filling or maybe blow up a little bit coming out of a race you got to watch those kind of things but it's mainly getting them in there keeping them safe and making sure physically they're they're ready to go present themselves to the public with her we're more actually kind of prepping her for the sale with the other ones it's more we're just babysitting them for those 48 or 72 hours and trying to keep them happy and, and able to present them. There's not a lot of prepping, you know, the trainer's already done all the prepping. This sale has evolved uh, a long way over the last, you know, 15, 20 years and uh, all the way from back in the days where it was really not a big sale on the radar screen. Uh, I remember one year we had a white thoroughbred uh, foal we were selling out there and I think that was the highlight of the consignment. But it's come a long way. I mean, it's, it's a really big sale on the calendar and, and they're what they really target is is the top end brood mares and and uh, top end you know race fillies off the track and they get some nice foals in there too. But if you look at mares like uh, Little Princess Emma, who's the dam of American Pharaoh, you know Summerwind Farm bought her from us there. And while American Pharaoh had already done some, he hadn't done near what he did. You know uh, he became you know an American racing icon, and they got to ride the wave of that and you know and to see them do well and they, they paid a lot of money so it was good for Mr. Zayad it was good commerce but they got um, you know a, a, a great mare that can go on and produce for years and years to come. If you look at the Dam of Arrogate, Bubbler, we sold her there. Eamon Cleary Sr. bought her out of our consignment and to see her go on and produce a horse of that caliber is just unbelievable. So you never know which ones. I mean, you look around there and there are future legends that are all parading around that ring out there and just the adrenaline we get, it, it's, to, it, it's like our Breeders' Cup or our Kentucky Derby uh, going to the November sale and having these mares. I mean, just to, just to have your hands on a horse like this is just, uh, you know, it just gives me goosebumps. I mean, just to be able to do this, we're so blessed and, and it's, it's just a lot of fun. It's, it's, my, it's my favorite sale of the year by far because you get to be around these celebrity horses that have already gone on and done such great things. Along with Songbird and Teppin, the Phasing Tipton November sale features champion female sprinter Finest City and grade one winners Miss Temple City, Catch a Glimpse, and more. Also cataloged is American Cleopatra, a full sister to Triple Crown winner American Pharaoh, as well as weanlings from that stallion's first crop. It is the first appearance of American Pharaoh's foals at auction. The November sale begins at 4 p.m. at the Newtown Paddocks, and of course we'll be there with comprehensive coverage and a video recap of all the action at bloodhorse.com.